you've joined us on starting up well time now for a brand new segment on the show it's called bootstrap and this is where we try and address all your how to's to help you with all those questions that you might have when it comes to building your own venture this week we're going to try and help you with choosing and booking your domain name surbi goel is here with the answers So you've decided what you want to name your company. Next up is finding the right domain name and going ahead and booking it. But what are the key things that you must keep in mind while booking the perfect domain name? The name slideshare was available, so that was the uh, basic criteria. And apart from that, uh, you know, the connect uh, with slides and presentations is very strong. So we were looking for something which uh, which was available. and uh, which kind of uh, you know uh, place the product uh, very quickly in the minds of uh, prospective uh, users and customers right so typically when you selecting a domain name it's recommended there be short you know shorter you are shorter domain names are better uh, it should contain contain um, lesser words so you know typically domain names will comprise of three or four or five words obviously not going to be as memorable as something that contains single word or two words in most circumstances so there are three factors to consider uh, while registering a domain name uh, the first factor is brandability uh brandability is essentially about uh whether your domain name represents your brand well second factor is essentially the uh, rankability of the brand uh you know does your domain name uh rank well you know when somebody goes and looks for it on search engine and the final factor to consider when uh buying a new domain is you know the cost uh because dot com domains dot in domains are typically uh, less expensive the next question is what exactly should one go for dot com dot in or dot net and considering so many people are using search engines to locate websites these days Does the top level domain name really matter? So I mean, conventionally, a .dot com is definitely more valuable than a .dot in. You know, people recognize websites as .dot coms. If your India focus is a website, uh, or you have a focus on cover different geographies, one of them happens to be India. You might want to create a microsite for India. Um, you, you use a .dot in there. .dot in might give you SEO advantages uh, if you're India focused again. Uh, but otherwise, you know, if if, if you if you have a, uh, you know if, if a domain name is not available in .dot com, you might choose to go for a .dot in. But if you have a .dot com option, then you know you will have to pay premium for it. You might might as well go for .dot com. Great so you have decided what domain name you want to buy next step is actually going ahead and buying it and here's how you do it so you would typically go to a do domain name registrar you know bigdog.com is one of them there are several other registrars um, just find a domain name registrar site that you can go to to purchase uh, purchase domain name consists of fairly, fairly simple uh, series of steps you just check check availability uh, is the first step you check for your domain name if it's available um, you typically buy the domain name along with uh, potentially a couple of other variants so if it's available in comnet org uh, and in you might want to buy all four of them just to prevent anybody else from squatting on on your brand so basically you know uh, conventionally while checking availability for a domain name, Name, you typically come across many scenarios where domain that you want is not available because somebody else has registered it and in several circumstances a lot of people have registered domain names for the purpose of selling them uh, back in the secondary markets so you can actually buy these domain names from the existing uh, existing owner of that domain name typically prices range from a couple of hundred couple of thousand dollars all the way to tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on how short the name is how desirable it is There you go. All the information you need for booking that domain, how to choose one, what top level domain to use, and most importantly, how to go ahead and actually buy it. You're all set now to build the next million dollar dot com.